see my son? No, Mr. Talley. Probably up there painting a picture. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Mikey? Nothing, sir. There are the stars doing their old, old crisscross in the sky. Scholars haven't settled the matter yet, but they seem to think that there are no living beings up there. Just chalk or fire. Only this one strain. This one strain and all the time to make something of itself. The strain is so great that every 16 hours everybody lies down and gets a rest. Would you like a drink? No, thanks. Good, that leaves more for me. Didn't you tell me you were going to cut down on this stuff? Why, yes I did, but I'm a terrible liar. <laughs> Besides, it doesn't pay. I remember I was going out with this wonderful girl once, and she used to plead with me and plead with me to give it up. So one day I did. Then we discovered we had nothing more to talk about, so we broke up. <laughs> what if this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood? Is it not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? Where to serves mercy but to confront the visage of offense? And what's in prayer? With this twofold force to be forestalling, ere we come to fall or part in being down. Then I'll look up. My fault is past. But oh, what form of prayer can serve my turn? Forgive me my foul murder? That cannot be, since I'm still possessed of those effects for which I did the murder. My crown, my own ambition, and my queen. May one be pardoned and still retain the offense? And England, if thou holds my mother out, thou mayest not neglect our sovereign process, which imports at full to letters congruent to that effect, the present death of Hamlet. Do it, England, for like the hectic in my blood he rages, and thou must cure me. Till I know tis done, however my haps, my joys were ne'er be. 